Hi, I'm Sister Maria Grace from the Daughters of St. Paul. I write books for kids and I love reading them too. So we're going to be doing some story times with the sisters for you. Today we're going to read Staircase for the Sisters, a story of prayer and St. Joseph. And this is written by Pamela Love and illustrated by John Joseph. Here's the setting. Many years ago in New Mexico, there was a school called the Academy of Our Lady of Light. Beside this school stood a beautiful new chapel, but this chapel was missing something important. You can see the school here and the chapel. It's actually a pretty big chapel. At first, the school's principal, Mother Magdalene, didn't notice. As she and the builder walked through the new chapel, Mother Magdalene smiled at the polished altar, the colorful windows, and the rows of pews. What a wonderful place to worship, she said. Yes, it is, the builder agreed, not meeting her eyes. Mother Magdalene looked up at the choir loft, a balcony where the Sisters of Loretto would stand above the congregation to sing. We'll give glory to God up there, she thought. Then she looked again. Where is the staircase, she asked. And you can see here in the chapel, this Mother Magdalene and the builder walking through. And look, there is the choir loft, but there's no way to get up there. There's no staircase. Sighing, the builder looked down at his feet. I'm afraid there isn't one, he said. The architect that the bishop hired didn't put a staircase in the plans. Then how shall we reach the choir loft, Mother Magdalene asked. Could you use a ladder, Mother? The builder asked, hopefully. No, that wouldn't be safe. The principal smoothed her habit's long black skirt, which trailed on the floor. We must have a staircase. But there's no room for one, he said. There they are looking up at the choir loft. You see Mo Mother Magdalene's habit with her rosary on the side? They can't climb a ladder. It's not safe. So Mother Magdalene asked other carpenters. All of them agreed that more room was needed in order to add stairs. Could we tear down a wall or take out some pews, they asked. The principal shook her head. We need all those seats. Besides, we don't have the money to pay for such big changes now. The sisters were glum when they learned about the balcony. Such a fine place to sing and only 22 feet away, Mother Magdalene told them. Without a staircase, it might as well be 22 miles, another sister said and sighed. Sisters, this is the city of Santa Fe. That means holy faith in Spanish. Faith is one thing we have plenty of. Tomorrow we shall begin a novena to St. Joseph, the patron saint of carpenters. The sisters nodded. With heaven's guidance, someone will help us, Ma Mother Magdalene declared. Here's the carpenters all giving their verdict, and here's the sisters talking about the choir loft. In the morning for the next nine days, because it's a novena, they bowed their heads and prayed together in the chapel. Dear St. Joseph, protector of Mary and Jesus and patron of carpenters, we ask for your help. Pray for us. We need a staircase to our choir loft so that we may give glory to God in song. We are told it cannot be built, but we know nothing is impossible with God. We ask for your intercession, and we trust in God's will. Amen. On the ninth day, a stranger knocked on the school's door. His clothes were worn and dusty. He seemed to own nothing but a donkey and a toolbox. I heard you needed a carpenter, he said. There's the carpenter. And he has his toolbox with him, but nothing else. Mother Magdalene took him straight to the chapel. She explained the problem and asked, can you help us? Staring up at the balcony, the stranger answered, 
Yes, I can build you a staircase. That's wonderful. Mother Magdalene clapped her hands. She looked at his meager belongings. What do you need? How can we help you? I have everything I need, replied the carpenter, but I must work alone, Mother Magdalene. Alone, she asked. Alone, the man repeated firmly. There they are in the chapel, looking up. He began his work the very next day. The only sounds the sisters could hear coming from the room were his sawing and hammering. Every evening he left, and no one knew where he went. The next morning he would return with a load of wood on his donkey's back. There he is. See his donkey has all the wood that he's using. Every now and then, curious students and sisters peeked into the chapel. Somehow, he always knew when someone was watching and he'd stop. Only when they tiptoed away would the sound of sawing or hammering begin again. Whenever Mother Magdalene heard the carpenter working, she prayed, Lord, please guide your servant's hands. She knew this could be their last chance. One day, the carpenter knocked on the principal's door. The staircase is ready, Mother Magdalene. Well then, let's see what you've done, she said, as they headed to the chapel. There's the students peeking in the chapel. The steps spiraled up and up, curving around twice as they rose from the floor to the choir loft. The staircase fit in with the rest of the chapel as if it had been planned that way. Here's the staircase. You see it's a spiral that goes all the way up to the, the choir loft. And you could see how happy Mother Magdalene is there, too. The principal made the sign of the cross. Our prayers have been answered. Thank you for your help, St. Joseph, she prayed. Just as she was about to thank the carpenter, the students and other sisters came into the chapel. Everyone was delighted with the staircase. They were all curious about it, too. Nothing holds it up in the middle. How does it stand? asked one student. What kind of wood is it? asked another. Why aren't there any nails? One of the sisters wanted to know. You see they're exploring the staircase there. There's no, it's no nails, it's made without nails, and it has no central support. Let's ask the carpenter, said Mother Magdalene. She looked around the chapel, but the man was no longer there. He can't have gone far. Please find him so we can thank so we can say thank you and pay him. Sisters and students scattered, searching the school and the streets, but the carpenter was nowhere to be seen. What's his name, mother? I don't know, the principal answered. No one else did either. Many months later, one girl asked, Did you ever hear from the carpenter who built the special stairs? No, Mother Magdalene replied. Nobody even answered our newspaper ad about him. Years later, a few people claimed the mysterious carpenter was one man, while others said he was someone else. Even though nobody could be certain who he was, many people called the stairs he built miraculous. Lord, we ask your blessings on the man you sent to help us. Mother Magdalene prayed whenever she climbed the staircase. To the sisters, the carpenter's gifts of time and skill were a true miracle. God answered their prayers to St. Joseph by sending a craftsman who helped them stand a little closer to heaven. There he is at the end. And this is when they're trying to find him. So this staircase is a real staircase. It was built in 1878, and it has 33 steps, one for each year of Christ's life on earth. It is built of spruce wood, which is an evergreen, which is a symbol of eternal life. Even the pegs holding it together are spruce. It is unclear where this wood came from, and to this day, no one has been able to prove the carpenter's identity. The chapel may have been used for prayer while the carpenter built the staircase, but sources agree that he refused to work while anyone could see him. 
Some people think the carpenter was St. Joseph himself. The Loreto Chapel, including the staircase, is now a museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The staircase has a handrail that was added by a different carpenter years later. Visitors to the museum are no longer allowed to climb the staircase. Remember what we, when, we, when the sisters prayed for nine days? They prayed a novena. So in the back of the book here, it tells, you, tells us about what a novena is too. A novena is a prayer or a group of prayers said each day for nine days. The Virgin Mary and the Apostles prayed for nine days between Christ's ascension and Pentecost when he sent them the Holy Spirit. People who need special help pray novenas. They often pray asking for the help of a particular saint. When you pray for a saint's help or intercession, you are asking the saint to pray for you and bring your needs to God. Only God answers prayers. You may not receive the exact kind of help you ask for, but praying always helps you grow closer to God. And in this book, the sisters prayed a novena to St. Joseph. It has a little thing about St. Joseph here too. Here he is, he was the carpenter. St. Joseph was the Virgin Mary's husband and Jesus Christ's foster father. Scripture tells us that he was a carpenter and a man of strong faith. He always followed God's will. Joseph cared for and protected Jesus and Mary. He is the patron saint of carpenters, families, travelers, expectant mothers, Canada and the Universal Church, among other things. And he has two feast days, March 19th and May 1st. And in the back of the book, there's also a novena to St. Joseph that you can use too to pray. Um, the book also includes a little bit about the two, uh, the author and the illustrator for the book that you can read more about them. The end.